Hey guys, I know it's LP Hero. Welcome back to the channel. Now, iOS 15.4 has been out for exactly one week as of the filming of this video. And of course, most of you guys are probably now updating to the latest OS, but I wanted to share with you guys a few settings and options you may want to look into right after you update to iOS 15.4. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now before we get to some of the settings you should look at i want to talk about briefly my youtube community poll where i ask you guys how is the software running for you and as you can see right here we have 8,700 votes approximately and a 37% of you guys seem to have a great experience with iOS 15.4 a 10% of you guys say it's okay but there's still some bugs now a 4% of you guys say it's very very buggy and a 49% of you guys are not running iOS 15.4 now if you're running iOS 15.4 I would like to hear from you in those comments down below because according to most of these comments it looks like the software is performing great overall across the board but some of the complaints that I continue to hear are in regards to battery performance. Now, I can't say that I've had battery issues. I'm running the software on the biggest iPhone, the 13 Pro Max, and the battery will last me all day. But if you're having battery issues, I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. Now, let's get back to some of the settings you should look into right after you update to iOS 15.4. Now, the first thing you want to look into is Siri and dictation. There was a bug within the software that would send these Siri interactions to Apple's servers to improve the user experience rather you opt in or opt out now in order for you to delete these interactions from apple servers you obviously have to go into apple siri and dictation right here you want to go into siri and dictation history and right here you want to go ahead and delete siri and dictation history and opt out of this feature again there was a bug within ios 15.2 and 15.3 it also lingered within the software 15.3 that would send those siri voice interactions when you talk to siri on your home pods or on your iphones and they will be sent to apple rather you opt in or opt out which was a big deal so if you want to delete that that's one option that you want to look into right after you update to 15.4 because that bug is actually 100 percent fixed within 15. Point four. Now, another thing you want to look into is under privacy here. And one thing that I've noticed under location services, if we scroll all the way to the bottom here and we go to system services, we have the option right below here, significant location, right there it is. And when you go into this particular option here, your iPhone will show you the places you've been to, the places you currently visit the most in order to improve Apple services like maps and calendars and things like that. But I've noticed that if you turn this feature off, it would automatically turn itself on with 15.4 so you want to go to significant location and if you don't want your iPhone tracking you everywhere you go to improve Apple services you want to make sure you turn that feature off because again as I mentioned I currently have that feature off because I don't like to use it and when I update it to 15.4 I've noticed that the feature came right back on so you may want to look into that now another privacy feature you want to look into is under your iCloud settings if we go to iCloud settings here we have the private relay now private relay of course is one of those big features that help you stay protected online when you use Safari it hides your IP address and location in order for you to have more privacy when you use Safari on your iPhone it is still in beta but I've noticed that it's improved a whole lot with iOS 15.4 so that's a software option that you want to look into you may want to enable this feature in order to stay protected while you use safari and browse the web on your iphone and now last but not least i want to go into notifications here and i want to go into the tracking options now as you know apple's find my network has a new tracking options here under notifications so if we can find it here under tracking we go into here now there's a few things i would like to take a look at here now first off obviously if this is disabled you want to enable notifications for tracking so if you have airpods if you have air tags if you have other apple accessories within the find my network this will notify you when you leave those devices behind but it would also notify you if someone is trying to track you using one of those devices actually for example someone can leave their airpods in their car with bad intentions to actually track you within their find my network and this will give you the notification that someone else's airpods for example or ipad or whatever it is air tag is with you now the one option i would recommend you change 
is under the notification banner. It says temporary right here. So you'll get the notification temporarily. I like to change that to persistence so it doesn't go away in order for you to know if someone is tracking you. Again, the Find My Network is a great network of devices consistent with all of Apple products where you can know if you left the product behind, if it's with you, but it also serves as you know a tracking mechanism. So you might want to stay aware of this and you want to make sure you enable this option. So in case someone is trying to track you, you'll be able to know and you want to change those notification style banners to persistent so that you know and those notifications just don't accidentally disappear from your view and you can see if someone's actually trying to track you very very important option there that i would like for you guys to look at but other than that i want to say ios 15.4 is a solid software updates just a few privacy concerns that i had and i wanted to share with you guys and of course a brief community poll that i wanted to share with you guys as well thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace